I've been out of my head, can't get out of bed. Too much on my brain, but got it good, can't complain. my channel so before I get started with my day I thought I would kind of chit chat with you all and update you on what's been going on in my life because so much has happened in the past couple of weeks the first being that I am no longer working at my job that I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I just started three weeks ago but I'm just gonna say that it was a very very unprofessional environment I won't go into detail about it and for the sake of my mental health I decided that I should probably leave so now I'm just gonna focus on doing my freelance art again and doing content creation because I just became a YouTube partner not too long ago all thanks to you thank you so much for watching and I just want to see where this takes me. And I know that I wasn't at my job for too long, but thankfully I was able to save a bit of money. So I wanted to use my paycheck on improving my content and buying new equipment. And I bought my first big thing the other day at Best Buy. I bought a new microphone. So this is the microphone that I got. It's the blue microphone in the color white. It sounds a little bit weird, but the brand is blue and I got it from Best Buy. I heard a lot of good things about this specific microphone. I know a lot of YouTubers use it and I mainly want to use it for voiceovers. I'll probably use it for this video later on, so let me know if you notice a difference. Um, but also, I thought it would be useful for streaming if I ever end up doing that in the future and playing Animal Crossing. Who knows? Hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. This is voiceover L, and I'm coming to you from my shiny new microphone. I mainly will be using this for voiceovers while I'm editing, but let me know if you notice a difference in quality at all. I personally feel like this sounds so much cleaner and there isn't as much background noise and feedback as there usually is when I record on my iPhone. I used to use voice memos, so this is a major upgrade for me. But yeah, I am so, so grateful that I finally saved up enough money to purchase something for my YouTube channel because I really do want to create better content for you all and I eventually want to buy a new mic for my camera as well but that could get a little expensive so I think this is a good first step in that direction and so far this mic has been so easy to set up I have a MacBook and the only extra thing that I needed was a USB adapter to plug it in but other than that it works really smoothly and I really love it so later this afternoon, I am going to a movie screening of Panda Go Panda, which is a short film that was concepted by Miyazaki like in the 1970s. And they're doing a limited screening of the film in Roxy Theater in San Francisco to celebrate the 50th anniversary. I was actually invited by G Kids. And if you don't know what G Kids is, it's the North American distributor for all of the Studio Ghibli films. They produce the DVDs and all the steelbooks. So when I saw an email from G Kids in my inbox, I freaked out. If you've been watching my content for a while or you follow me on TikTok where I do all my unboxings, you know that I am a huge, huge Studio Ghibli fan. So just the fact that they know I exist and that they watch my content is crazy. Anyway, it's around 1.15 right now. The screening's at 3.30, so I'm gonna quickly print out the tickets right now and then we're gonna get some coffee, some breakfast, and then head to the city.
Francisco. So we just parked nearby the theater and the movie doesn't start until 3.30. It's 3 o'clock right now. So we're chilling in the car right now and just waiting a few minutes and then we're gonna walk over. Yeah, I'm excited to see the movie. I really don't know what to expect, but from the poster, it looks like a really cute film. I don't know if it's just me, but this entire year, my allergies have been the worst that it's ever been. I sneeze every single day and I have to take a Benadryl every day as well. So it just makes me really, really sleepy. But yeah, if I sound congested, it's because I have allergies. So like I mentioned earlier, the screening took place at Roxy Theater in San Francisco, which is one of the oldest theaters in the US. I think it was built in the early 1900s, so it was a really cool experience to be able to watch Panda Go Panda here. Thank you again so much to G-Kids for the invite. Of course, we got some popcorn before heading in, and we did get there a little early, so we kind of just chilled for a bit until the movie started. I didn't realize that this was basically two short films in one. I'll talk more about what I thought of the film in a bit, but overall, it was really, really cute and wholesome. I just got out of the movie screening and it was really cute. Definitely for little kids though, but I did like that you could see a lot of the inspiration that became Miyazaki's like future work like in Totoro and in Ponyo especially. The panda in the film really reminded me of Totoro and even like the tiger, his stripes reminded me of like the cat bus actually. Yeah, yeah. So you can see like different elements here and there that inspired future films, which is really cool. I don't know, what did you think? It was okay. It was definitely a kid, or definitely a film for little kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, but you could definitely see where the influence went. Anyway, we are headed to Japantown. We are two minutes away, and two. we're gonna grab some food, probably some onigiri or dango. That sounds really good. And then we're gonna check out like the bookstore as usual, do a little shopping. Our first stop in Japantown was this tiny shop called Kisako Tea and we picked up this Mitarashi Dango which is so freaking yummy. We've had it once before and I wanted to get it again because it was just so good. It's basically rice dumplings covered in a sweet soy glaze. They have other flavors too but this one is my personal favorite. We also ordered a box of onigiri for lunch. I think I got spicy tuna and chicken teriyaki, which were both really good, but I always, always struggle to unwrap these. Says, pull down tab. After eating lunch, we shopped around, mostly at the Kinokuniya bookstore, and I've been obsessed with Spy Hicks family lately. Is anyone else watching this anime? Because I love it so much. have to check out the art book section. I totally wish I had the budget to buy more art books like the Sanrio one, but it's always fun browsing through the pages. And of course, I had to stop by the Studio Ghibli section, my favorite section. Again, I didn't buy anything, but look how cute all of these products are. I love this scene of Gigi finding himself on a mug. Panda. On our way out, I stumbled upon these cute little blind boxes which I've been looking for for so long so I ended up buying a couple of them. We just finished at Kinokuniya. Didn't get much except for some blind boxes but now we're gonna get a drink at the market nearby. just got our drinks. We got like four drinks because we wanted to try out the BTS coffee. We just thirsty. I know.
it's started sprinkling now. Okay, so it started raining, so we went back to the parking lot just to chill in the car for a bit before dinner. But I picked up these two Sunny Angel blind boxes. I got the Cherry Blossom series and the Animal series version 1, which I've been looking for for so long. So I thought I would unbox them really quick. Okay, I'm gonna open the series 1 first. Let's see what I got. Hopefully I get the frog. That's the one I want the most. Comes in this little bag inside. <gasps> oh, oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> What'd you get? Is there a Dalmatian? There's a panda. Oh, there is a Dalmatian. No! You got the Dalmatian? I got the Dalmatian! <laughs> Your favorite. If you don't know, I am a little bit scared of Dalmatians for some reason. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got a Dalmatian one. I was hoping for the frog. Woo, Dalmatians! <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm gonna open the second one. This is the Cherry Blossom series. And honestly, I'd be pretty happy with any of them. There's a rabbit one, a calico cat one, peacock, goat, and there's like some secret ones that you could potentially get. <sighs> Hopefully I get something better this time. You gotta get the Dalmatian one in this No, one you too. can't get a Dalmatian in this <laughs> one. You get in it too bad. I got the cat! I like that one. Oh, it's so cute. Look! That one's cute. It has like a little t-shirt. So this is the one that I got. <laughs> that looks creepy. These are the two that I got. I'm happy with the second one. Sean also picked up a blind box. He got this Pac-Man one. He doesn't know if this is like a plushie or a figurine, but I guess we'll find out. Is it a figurine? It is a figurine. I got Pac Man. With, um. Is that business. a sandwich? Wait, cool. what is he holding? Let me see. Oh, it's an avocado, avocado croissant club sandwich. That's cool. I'm glad you got Pac Man, actually. Oh, why does it keep focusing on your face? There. It's on the sandwich. This is the figure that Sean got. It's Pac Man on a little sandwich. <laughs> There's like an avocado here, too. Look. Actually, I think we're just gonna head home now because we are not hungry at all. The plan was to eat ramen, but we had so much drinks earlier, so I think we're just gonna head back since it's gonna be like a 30 to 40 minute drive and then just get food in our area and then we're gonna watch Stranger Things at home because the season just came out. Yeah. True San Francisco experience, Carl the Fog has moved in. Can I order a pickup? Can I have the taco plate with carne asada? Okay. Can I also have a large horchata? Five minutes and running. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So I just finished washing up and I thought I would try out this tofu gel cream by Biro that I got a couple of months ago in Vegas when I attended the Grammys. It was a part of the welcome package for all the attendees and it's just been sitting in a drawer so I don't want it to go to waste. And so far it feels really, really, um, what do you call it, hydrating and it goes on pretty smooth. It doesn't feel really sticky or anything. Hopefully this does not break me out because I have very sensitive skin. Hello everyone, it's a new day and I just received a very exciting package in the mail this morning. It's my Patreon stickers and I've been waiting for these to arrive for the past few weeks. I did not expect them to come today, but I'm so happy that they did because I am running so behind. It's already the end of May. So thank you so much to my lovely patrons for being incredibly patient with me. I showed you in my last video what the designs look like. They're 90s gaming slash cafe inspired stickers and I just can't wait to see what they actually look like in person so I'm gonna open this up real quick.
I just finished unboxing all of my new stickers and they turned out to be a little bit more pastel than I thought they would be, but honestly, I am not mad about it. I think they look a lot better than they do on screen. But yeah, my personal favorite has to be the Kirby Latte. It's probably the most simple design out of the three, but his face is just so freaking cute. all of my stickers I think I'm gonna package patreon mail now I'll probably spend the majority of my day doing that because I have a lot of mail that needs to go out tomorrow morning at the moment I have about 85 patrons which is probably the highest that it's ever been and I'm so grateful but there's a lot of work to do so I better start packaging now Update. I just got through a huge chunk of my Patreon mail. I started packaging around 1.30 ish and now it's around 5 p.m. and I made so much progress. I have like 15 to 20 left to do so I'll be able to finish it tonight thankfully and then send out all of my Patreon mail to the world tomorrow morning but yeah I was starting to get really really tired so I picked up some coffee at McDonald's and hopefully that will get me through the rest of the night. I am gonna end the vlog here because I don't want to bore you too much with all of the packaging. I know that it could be a little bit repetitive to watch me package the same stuff over and over but if you do like that kind of stuff I do have separate packaging videos if you scroll down to my channel but I hope you enjoyed this video because I had so much fun this weekend exploring Japantown in San Francisco watching Miyazaki films and opening my new stickers as always don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this comment below and I will see you in my next one bye everyone